Hi friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you another and better way of deploying CodeIgniter 4 project on shared hosting, which is more recommended. In the last video, we uploaded our entire project to the public underscore HTML folder. Now, I'm going to show you how we're going to split our project folders structure into two parts. Let's me delete this compressed file. This is our main code igniter blog project folder. Create new folder on desktop and rename to CI4 underscore secure. First, copy whole files and folders except this public folder. Then, paste them into this folder you have created. Next, copy this public folder and paste it to desktop. Next, compress both folders. Delete non-compressed folder. Friends, this is our three files we need in order to put our code igniter for blog online. I already bought new domain name and assigned to my web hosting. This is the domain name for my code igniter for blog project. As you can see, I wrote this simple text inside index.php for testing our domain. To see all website files, just click on this file manager button. And go inside public underscore html folder. We can edit this index.php. Let's make changes on this file. As you can see, new updates added to this text. First thing we have to do, we have to create email account. To do that, just click on email accounts. Manage. To create new email account, click on this button. Inside this input field, type anything you want. On password input field, type your desired and strong password on your own. Or toggle this checkbox for generating strong password.
Once you are happy with your strong password, keep it somewhere safe in your computer. Let's store our email account details inside Notepad. And then, click Create New Account button. We finished about creating email account. Back to our domain. Next thing we have to do, is to create database. To do that, just click on this databases button. Once you reach on this page. Just enter database name and username respectively. For password, you can type your own password. But you can click on this icon for generating strong password. Once you are happy with your strong password, keep it somewhere safe in your computer. We chose to keep those database details in this notepad. Click this green create button to create database. Once database created, also save these database name and username in notepad. After that, click on this button to go to PHP My Admin. Next, import our exported database. As you can see, all Code Igniter 4 blog tables have been imported successfully inside this database. So, it is the time for uploading our project files. Go to File Manager. As you can see, we are outside public underscore HTML folder. We need to upload our secure compressed file here. To upload any file, just click on this up arrow. Once uploading finished, extract that zip file. Delete zip file. Our controllers, models, and views must be inside this secure folder. Next, open this public underscore HTML folder. 
delete index.php. Upload public compressed file here. And wait for uploading process. Once uploading finished, extract that file. Delete zip file. Open this folder and move all files directly to the public underscore HTML. and delete this public folder. Back to home directory and open CI4 underscore secure folder. Next, edit.env file. First thing we have to do on this file, we have to change the space URL. Secondly, update database details. Password must be between two single quotes or double quotes. Finally, update email account details. This email underscore from underscore address variable will be the same to the email underscore username. Once you done, save the file. That's it for .env file. Back to public underscore HTML folder. Then, edit index.php. We need to update this line 32 with correct path. Once you done, save the file. So, it is the time to test our blog. Refresh the page. After page refreshed, we have this error. 
that's okay. We need to change PHP version in configuration. Back to hosting er and find advanced section. And click PHP configuration. By default, we have PHP version 8.0. So, we need to set this to the latest version. Then, click this update button. PHP version updated successfully. Let's test. Good, our code igniter 4 blog is now on live server through this domain name. Everything worked fine. Share buttons are working perfectly. After checking everything, you need to do the following last thing inside .env file. You have to change this mode to production mode. Once you done, save the file. Friends. I hope you learned how to deploy CodeIgniter 4 project on shared hosting. I highly recommend this way more than previous one. Next video which is the last video on this tutorial series, we will test our entire blog on live server.